Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be doing the clean girl makeup look. So let's get started. So I always start the makeup routine by wearing a headband. I'll be wearing a headband from Sweat Beauty, I mean Sweet Beauty. This is a cosmetic headband bow knot shape on the top of the headband. It just gives you that very sweet and cute look. Now this is 100% elastic microfiber fleece. It is super soft, it's very durable, it's very fluffy, it's very comfortable to wear. Overall it's just very functional and very adorable. So for this particular makeup look, the skin prepping is the most important one. So I'm going to be starting off with Dr. Vachelle Vitamin C Brightening and Anti-Aging Facial Cleanser which contains hyaluronic acid. It's refreshing lather lifts away dulling impurities for fresh bright skin. That's what it claims. So it comes in this tube form and all the products have these tiny booklets with them. How much do I take? I just take like one digit of the finger. Like this much. If you're doing the neck, then you take two digits. So how to use is very simple. Just massage the foaming cleanser onto wet skin in small circular motions, then rinse. Use twice daily for best results, but just keep it out of the eye area. I'm going to be using the Clean Sponge Makeup Remover. This is a reusable pad that easily removes makeup without tugging the skin. It is made with soft microfiber. It's designed to remove makeup with just water, but I'm going to be using to remove my skincare. Dr. Vachelle Vitamin C Facial Cleanser refreshes and restores skin's natural vibrance and clarity with powerful vitamin C. A boost of antioxidants repair and protect from environmental damage and sun exposure. Contains vitamin C and hyaluronic acid ingredients, helps fade sunspots and discoloration, refines skin texture, and reduces wrinkles. Gently remove impurities to reveal a more youthful and whitening complexion. Well, at least that's what the product claims to do. Okay, next I'm going to be using this Vitamin C Brightening and Anti-Aging Essence Toner which contains niacinamide. It's an antioxidant, whitening, cleansing and pore minimizing. So the benefits of this toner are, it is the best Vitamin C Facial Toner guaranteed. The powerful Vitamin C Toner helps protect your skin from antioxidants, free radicals and can even help sunburn damaged skin. This anti-aging rejuvenator is packed full of natural and organic ingredients which help your skin to look and feel soft, youthful and vibrant the first time you use it. Soak a cotton pad with toner and gently wipe across your face, eyes and neck to cleanse and tone. Next I'm going to be using the Vitamin C Brightening and Anti-Aging Silk Mask which contains niacinamide. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles, leaving skin radiant and hydrated. The benefits are its brightening and illuminating sheet mask contains a high concentration of vitamin C, which reduces the appearance of uneven skin tone, fine lines and wrinkles. Vitamin C combats UV-induced sun damage, contributes to skin lightening, helps slow the signs of aging process and creates a healthy and radiant appearance. After cleansing and toning, gently align masks under each eye, wear up to 20 minutes and discard. Let's leave this on for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll play some games. Don't laugh challenge. What do I do? Oh, I tap. I win! 20 minutes are up and I'm going to remove the sheet mask. Gently massage the residue of the sheet mask into your skin. Wait 5 minutes then apply sunscreen. So for sunscreen I'm going to be using this Clear Ultra Mist Ultra Protect SPF 50 Sunscreen Continuous Spray. It is sun tested, sun proven, invisible clear spray with ultra lightweight feel. Very water resistant from Banana Boat. It's amazing. Interesting feature is the twist and lock spray. It has no cap. To shake it very well before use, apply generously and evenly to expose skin 20 minutes before sun exposure. Do not spray it directly on your face. Spray it into your hands to apply to the face. It goes on easily to provide sunscreen protection from sunburn and damaging UV rays in a sheer field spray that's proven in the sun to be long-lasting and effective when used as directed. It is also blended with aloe and vitamin C and E. Next, I'll be using this aloe vera gel for my brows. You can see how clear it is. Take a spoolie brush and dip it into the gel. Brush onto the eyebrows back and forth. Let it kind of set and then brush your eyebrows upwards to get a feathered look. Next, I'll be using an eyelash curler to curl my top lashes as well as the bottom lashes. Now, I'll be using the Jordana eyeliner in the shade Chestnut. 
You can see what a gorgeous brown color this is. Now for this clean girl makeup look, Kohl and pencil liners in brown shades are a must have for your makeup bag if you want to have that softer eyeliner look for every day. Just take an eyeliner pencil and draw an extended line on the outer edge of your eyes making an angle with your eyebrows. Adjust the length according to your desired length of the wing. Now place the pencil where this line ends and draw a line that flicks inwards with a slight curve and extend the line halfway into the upper lash line. Now fill up the gap until no skin peeps through from between the upper and the bottom line that forms your wing. This will give you a soft finish if you leave it as it is, but if you want your wings to be more striking and bold, take a brown liquid eyeliner and carefully trace along the lines you have created with your eyeliner pencil. As you can see here. Next, I'll be taking this 6 Crystal Powder Palette from Beauty Queen. This is the palette number 2. Now, it has these gorgeous highlighter shades. So, I'm going to be using highlighter as my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this stunning pink highlighter shimmer shade. Highlighter can also double as eyeshadow to create a glossy statement making eye look that won't crease. To do so, take a bit of your favorite highlighter, gently pat it onto the center of your eyelid and a little bit into the inner corner of the eyes. Now the shimmer in the highlighter will reflect light and make the eyes pop. So I'm going to be using the Givenchy Mascara. This is the shade Black Satin. It has a unique trispherical brush which builds thicker, longer and more curved lashes that are also revitalized and strengthened. A soft glide on texture for easy application gives suppleness to lashes with the first coat. Apply mascara to the upper and lower lashes. So for primer, I'm going to be using this Primer Time Multifunctional Nourishing Moisturizer Makeup Primer Moisturizing Mask for all skin types. So this is for a complexion which is supple, elastic, smooth, plump, soft and radiant. As you can see, it is very gel-like and it has these gold flakes and shimmer suspended in it. This is an occlusive moisturizing agent. It's just a fancy way of saying that it creates a physical barrier on top of the skin to keep the skin moist and hydrated for a long time. The ingredients that are used in this can be heavy, greasy and sticky and I feel like this product really was that so a little bit goes a long way. So for concealer, I'm going to be using this concealer from Office. This is a clean concealing cream. It is in the shade EF07. As you can see, it has a mirror. It's supposed to have a puff, which I don't have. And then this is the shade of the concealer. It melts into the skin very nicely. It's very creamy. It gives a very nice finish as well. Keeping a very light hand, don't overdo the concealer. Just take the concealer gently on the brush and tap it in to your skin. Apply the concealer on other uneven spots on the face. This includes the chin and around the nose and mouth area. I'm also going to cover the dark spots on the forehead and on the cheek areas. Then I'll be using this Beauty Blender which is a miracle sponge for a smooth seamless finish. This water activated sponge grows to about twice the size when wet and absorbs minimal products so your formula lands on your complexion and not on your sponge. I've applied the concealer and now I'm just going to bounce and blend the concealer to a smooth finish. I'm really surprised by this beauty blender because this was a dollar store find and this beauty blender is pretty amazing. So for foundation, I'm going to be using this foundation from Office, which is a double effect base serum and foundation cream. So how to use, you just have to pump out both the products, mix them very well together and then apply on your whole face. Now this was a bit darker for me. This was in the shade DE05. I have to use this because I do not have any other foundation to wear. Then I contoured and I am blending the contour in. Apply a light color concealer to brighten the areas under the eyes, center of the forehead, bridge of the nose, on the center of the chin, and upper lip area. And again, I'm going to blend this all in. Next, I'll be using this cream blusher from Maquillage Kwaiti. This is the shade 01, as you can see. It blends so beautifully, so smoothly, and is so creamy. Dots of blush provides instant illumination and the final flourish to your face. Choosing the perfect color for your skin tone is key to getting the look right. Next up, I'll be using this Party Queen Fix Plus Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Quick drying mist locks in makeup and prevents melting and color fading. Quick drying mist leaves skin soft and fresh, not sticky or shiny. All you have to do is shake well, not yourself, the bottle. And hold 8 to 10 inches away from the face and close your eyes. Spray 4 to 6 times in a clockwise direction. Finishing at the nose, avoid spraying directly into the eyes and lips. 
Using the same 6 Crystal Powder palette, I'm going to be using this white shimmer shade. I will emphasize the high points of the face by applying the highlighter on the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, on the bridge of the nose, along the cupid's bow above the upper lip, on the center of the chin, underneath the arch of the eyebrows, as well as slightly above. For the lips, I'm going to line it with this dark shade brown, and then I'm going to use the blush color to fill in the lips. Then using a lip brush, I'm going to soften and blend these two colors in. Then I'm going to be using this lip gloss, which I have no idea which brand it is, which shade it is, but this is how it looks. And I'm going to be applying this only to the center of my lips. I forgot to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, so I'm just doing that right now. And then we're going to change the hijab. And we're done. So if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, Press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I love is Bye. Just a little ahead, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.